And hello YouTube, this is JS Mama Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe Premiere Pro CC and one of the most recently added features to the program called Morph Cut. Now, whenever you're editing a video, and this is especially very useful in vlogs or uh, videos that have just a headshot where you're talking, interviews, testimonials, things like that, and sort of when you cut something out say you say something wrong and you want to cut that portion out every youtuber does it then you delete that portion of the video and you basically bring the next part and it looks like it's uncut but that's called a jump cut but a lot of times it's very noticeable if you're doing something professional you don't want to have that jump cut be noticeable you don't want to have it look like you edited you want it to look like everything's in one take so how can you create this effect where you're cutting something out but it's unnoticeable that you're transitioning to a future part of the video and here's where morph cut comes into play if we take a look at a small portion here what i want to do is i want to cut this portion out here is me talking on my advice channel and we don't need the audio really so let me just cut the audio out but essentially what you'll see is that what I want to do is keep this portion of the video and cut this portion out and then resume back at this portion. But what you'll notice is if I were to cut this out, like say I'm in my cut right here, here's what I want to take out. I delete, I bring this back. What you'll notice here is that if we zoom into these frames here, you can tell that I moved. You can tell this is a cut. If you don't want that to be noticeable, if I just play this right now like so, you can tell it's a cut. You see how my body just jerks? A lot of these jerky movements you don't want to have in your video because it looks really weird, especially if you're doing a professional video. So a way to overcome this is with a new feature called Morph Cut. So if you type in MO just here, as I've done right here, MO, in your effects panel over here, scroll down and under the uh, video transition, there's something called Morph Cut. You're gonna drag this over the two video clips that you want to merge together. And what this will do is start analyzing your footage. This is a mixture of face tracking and frame blending, I believe it looks like, where it'll take your face and it'll take the frame before the transition and take the frame in your face after the transition and sort of blend it together and morph it together so it looks like it's just all one video track and it doesn't look like you're cutting. This is a great way to improve your editing and to improve your cuts if you don't want them to be noticeable and to make them look a lot better. So after this is done analyzing, it'll basically give you uh, the completed transition and you'll see that it's barely even noticeable. If we scrub through this and if we let it play, you can tell that it doesn't even look like we cut the video. It actually looks very natural. There it is again, as you see, there's no real sign of the video being cut there. It just sort of smoothly looks like it is one take. And that's the really cool part about this effect is that even if you're, you're jerking your head a lot while you're talking, you have this really odd small frame where it looks like you actually made a cut and you don't want to be noticeable, use Morph Cut and it'll fix it. Now, just a few things to to realize when you're using this effect. If, you're, if you have a side shot and the face isn't directly facing the camera, it can sort of sometimes be really weird. Sometimes it'll fail to analyze the shot and the effect won't really work. So this really only works if you have a clear shot of the face, if it can track the face properly. Another thing to note is that if there's too big of a difference between the two cuts, say for example, if I'm standing you know, here in this cut, but over here I'm standing on this side of the video, it's not going to morph it together. I mean, there's no way Premiere Pro is going to be able to morph you standing over here to standing over here together. It's impossible. So this is just really good for small things like this where you just don't want to see these jerky movements or if you're, if you're cutting an interview together or a testimonial together or you know a random vlog where, you're, where you just have talking head footage. This is a great way to make your jump cuts look better. This is a great way to make your editing look better and make it look a bit more professional and most importantly, make it look unnoticeable. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you understand how to use the effect. If any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment box down below. Definitely down there answer any questions you have. If you run into any problems, let me know. 
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe to the channel. Lots of other Premiere Pro tutorials on our channel. Lots of other video editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials, Audacity, Audition. We have Windows Movie Maker tutorials even. We have design tutorials on Photoshop and GIMP. If you're interested in any of that software stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because there's lots of helpful stuff on there that could help you out if you're into this type of stuff. I also have a Patreon page. If you want to donate $8 to my Patreon page, click the card in the top right corner of the screen. It'll bring you to the page. Anything as low as a dollar is very helpful. Very much appreciated. You can also subscribe to my vlog channel music channel advice channel or my gaming channel links in the description as well as on the end card and that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always and this is gsm smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere